Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord for this is the day God made for you, for me, to us. And we are here together again, doing what we do every morning, giving God the praise. Father, we love you. We thank you. We adore you. We appreciate you. Bless us now in our time together is a prayer. We pray in Jesus' name with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Well, guess what? Today I'm calling Victory Day Continued. Yes. Oh my goodness. It was such a beautiful day yesterday. Victory. And we just going to continue the victory that we have in Jesus. And one of the ways in which we obtain victory is by reading and heeding God's word. That is why reading the word is part of the habit of the spirit. We not only inquire of the Lord, sitting still to hear his voice as we talk with him, but one of the important ways to hear God speak to us is through his word. And as a matter of fact, that is exactly what the psalmist tells us in the 119 division of the psalm. He declares, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And interestingly enough, the focus of that particular psalm is the word of God itself. So listen to the word and make up your mind in advance, not only to hear it, but to heed it. And so this is our call to action for today. What I want you to do as you listen to the word, let the spirit speak to you as to the one thing, just one thing from this passage that you will take away and apply to your life today. And that one thing could be as simple as taking one verse that you hide in your heart by memorizing that scripture. All right. So if you are ready, listen to the word and let the word order your steps. Joyful are people of integrity who follow the instructions of the Lord. Joyful are those who obey his laws and search for him with all their hearts. They do not compromise with evil and they walk only in his paths. You have charged us to keep your commandments carefully. Oh, that my actions would consistently reflect your decrees. Then I will not be ashamed when I compare my life with your commands. As I learn your righteous regulations, I will thank you by living as I should. I will obey your decrees. Please don't give up on me. How can a young person stay pure? By obeying your word. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. I praise you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. I have recited aloud all the regulations you have given to us. I have rejoiced in your laws as much as in riches. I will study your commandments and reflect on your ways. I will delight in your decrees and will not forget your word. Be good to your servant that I may live and obey your word. Open my eyes to see the wonderful truths in your instruction. I am always overwhelmed with a desire for your word. You, re you rebuke the arrogant, those who wander from your commands. Don't let them scorn and insult me, for I have obeyed your laws. Your laws please me. They give me wise advice. I told you my plans and you answered. Now, Teach me your decrees. 
Help me understand the meaning of your commandments and I will meditate on your wonderful deeds. I weep in sorrow. Encourage me by your word. Give me the privilege of knowing your instructions. I have chosen, made a choice to be faithful. I have determined to live by your regulations. I will pursue your commands for you expand my understanding. Teach me your decrees, O Lord. I will keep them to the end. Give me understanding and I will obey your instructions. I will put them into practice with all my heart. Oh, that sounds like the habit of the spirit to me, putting it into practice. Make me walk along the path of your commands, for that is where my happiness is found. Give me an eagerness for your laws rather than a love for money. Turn my eyes from worthless things and give me life through your word. Reassure me of your prom promise made to those who fear you. Help me abandon my shameful ways for your regulations are good. I long to obey your commandments. Renew my life with your goodness. Lord, give me your unfailing love, the salvation that you promised me. Then I can Answer those who taunt me, for I trust in your word. Your regulations are my only hope. I will keep on obeying your instructions forever and ever. I will walk in freedom, for I have devoted myself to your commandments. I will speak to kings about your laws, and I will not be ashamed. How I delight in your commands, how I love them. I honor and love your commands. I meditate on your decrees. Remember your promise to me. It is my only hope. Your promise revives me. It comforts me in all my troubles. I meditate on your regulations. I become furious with the wicked because they reject your instructions. Your decrees have been the theme of my songs wherever I have lived. I reflect on at night on who you are. Oh Lord, therefore I obey your instructions. This is how I spend my life, obeying your commandments. Lord, you are mine. I promise to obey your words with all my heart. I want your blessings. Be merciful as you promised. I pondered the direction of my life and I turn to follow your laws. I will hurry without delay to obey your commands. Evil people try to drag me into sin, mm -mm, but I am firmly anchored to your instructions. I rise at midnight to thank you for your regulations. I am a friend to anyone who fears you, to anyone who obeys your commands. Oh Lord, your unfailing love fills the earth. Teach me your decrees. You have done many good things for me, Lord, just as you promised. I believe in your commands. Now, teach me good judgment and knowledge. I used to wander off until you disciplined me, but now I closely follow your word. You are good and do only good. I obey your commandments with all my heart. I delight in your instructions. My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Your instructions are more valuable to me than millions in gold and silver. You made me. You created me. I have put my hope in your word. 
I know that your regulations are fair. You disciplined me because I needed it. Now let your unfailing love comfort me just as you promised. Surround me with your tender mercies so I may live for your instructions, so that I may live for your instructions are my delight. Let me be united with all who fear you, with those who know your laws. May I be blameless in keeping your decrees, then I will never be ashamed. I have put my hope in your word. Your eternal word, O oh Lord, stands firm in heaven. Your faithfulness extends to every generation. Your regulations remain true to this day, for everything serves your plans. I will never forget your commandments, for by them you give me life. I am yours. I have worked hard at obeying your commandments. Even perfection has its limits, but your commands have no limit. How I love your instructions. I think about them all day long. Your commands make me wiser than my enemies. They are my constant guide. I have more insight than my teachers, for I am always thinking of your laws. I am even wiser than my elders, for I have kept your commandments. I refuse to walk on any evil path so that I may remain obedient to your word. How sweet your words taste to me. They are sweeter than honey. <laughs> and so our call to action on this Friday is, for, is to order your steps in the word of God the Lord. Order my steps in your word.
my yes, steps Lord. and I Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hey. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,